Howdy, folks, and welcome to Mainly Acres. Shop. As you guys can see, I have another project going on. I'm uh, doing some hemming on some uh, homemade handkerchiefs. So I went ahead and uh, ironed and starched out all my seams. I folded these over twice and gave it a go with the sewing machine. Now, originally, I tried to do this project on my wife's sewing machine, um, but here in the corners, there's I believe eight layers of this material thick. So as soon as I hit the pedal and the needle came down to do a stitch here in the corner, it just bent the needle right in half. So I was like, oh no. So I, I fixed that quick, fast, in a hurry before she found out and uh, decided to go ahead and get this done on uh, my leather sewing machine. So that's why I really wanted to shoot this video today to show you guys that these uh, sewing machines can handle this type of uh, thin material. Now these are normally meant for ha handling thick canvas, uh, padding, and leather, and different um, uh, gauges of leather. I mean, this this sewing machine has sewn you know stuff that I've tanned myself that is just really thick, and I was really impressed with it. So it's just a great all the way around sewing machine, and you can even sew cotton with it. So like I said, that's the main reason I wanted to shoot this video today, was to show you the versatility of the machine. And uh, right now, I'll just go through a couple cranks and show you how it's working. I am going a bit slower because I'm uh, trying to make sure the, the the lines in it are nice and neat and trying to make sure the hem stays straight. And like I said, it's great because uh, uh, my wife's machine just can't handle this uh, thickness of material. And um, it, it also can't handle um, sewing jeans as well, like denim. So uh, it's nice to have a machine like so, not only for your, you know, your leather crafts and whatnot, but to uh, do some hems on blue jeans, or just to help out, you know, sewing projects like I'm doing now. As you guys can see, I kind of got a rhythm going there. It has done a really nice job on the stitching so far. I've went ahead and done this and uh, there's the uh, front side of it. And if you guys are planning on doing uh, projects like this on your sewing machine, if you have one of these, you are going to want to tighten the nut under here um, that controls your uh, tensioning on your presser foot and you basically want to uh, grab it and turn it um, counterclockwise to tighten it and then um, clockwise to loosen it. So if you guys are having a problem with it not moving your material through because it's a walking presser foot, then go ahead and tighten that down as much as you can. Now the exact opposite, if you have like leather projects and your presser foot is just scarring the crud out of your projects, try um, loosening the tension on that under bolt and that might help you guys out. Another quick thing I wanted to talk about in this video is uh, needles. I just recently ordered a whole different variety of different gauges and size needles. Um, this pack here is the pack that came with my sewing machine. Their size is a 18 um, over 110. And these needles have been really good. Even though they're a universal tip, they go through leather really nice. And so I decided to order a whole bunch of different needles ranging from the smaller size of a 14, we got a 16, got a 20 in there, a 19, a 21, and the 22. And the reason why I decided to do that is because I'm kind of getting into all sorts of different leather projects and uh, sewing projects like this. So I wanted a different variety of needles because I'm kind of new to all of this to kind of decide what I want to use. So I went ahead and bought these uh, pretty much from the same company that these came from. As you guys can see, they have the same 
writing on the back of the packages and the reason why I ordered these from overseas is because they were dirt cheap I was able to get these packages for like a couple bucks a piece and it allowed me to get a different variety so that way if I find you know one needle works really good for this project and this one works better for others I can actually go out and then order that specific size and a chisel tip like say if it's a leather project or different types of needles out there so this is great for anybody who is just getting into uh, using this style sewing machine or in uh, different leather projects it's a really good idea to get a different variety uh, different sewing needles for your machine and trying them all out now I wouldn't go I wouldn't recommend getting a needle any larger than the size 24 I believe um, because when you get up above that I don't really know if the machine can handle that um, it's something I'm definitely going to try out but uh, it's recommended that you don't get anything larger than the 24 another important um, thing to know is that the style needle that goes in these machines is the 15 uh, by 1 or the 15 times 1 and you'll see that on all of these different variety uh, needles that I got you always see the 15 1 that's the actual style of of the um, post here and the shank and it's specific for this machine here so when you're ordering needles for these machines specifically make sure to stick with the 15 by 1 and then you can choose all sorts of different variety of sizes now if you need help with uh, deciding what sizes to get it's a good idea just to get an a, array like I did or you can go um, and I'll leave a link down in the description below of a gentleman that has a lot of good information on leather sewing needles and that is a good place to start. Now I will warn you it is like learning a whole other language so uh, take your time um, when you're looking that stuff up. Another thing that I wanted to show was I uh, ordered a whole bunch of different gauge threads. I hope that's in the shop back there. Um, and um, I kind of have them set up right now and how the thickness is so I got some really really thick stuff and this is basically uh, the thickest thread recommended for these machines but then again I'm gonna test the limits of this machine and order a larger gauge thread but this is the largest thread recommended for the machine which is a T135 so I bought some of that I also bought a different variety. I also have a T30. This is, uh, I believe, a T90. Um, and there's some really, really fine thread here. I don't remember what that is, but this was like a military surplus deal. So we bought a bunch of that because it was a really good deal. And this is a military uh, grade thread as well. They usually use this style and gauge thread for sewing parachutes, backpacks, boots, you name it. So this is really good stuff. <laughs> Um, and this little spool here, this also came with my machine. This thread here and this uh, T30 thread here came with the machine and all the other stuff I bought in, uh, separately. So if you guys are interested in using different needle to gauge thread ratios and you want to uh, want me to troubleshoot some problems you might be having, feel free to leave comments down below and I will uh, get them all threaded up and put on the machine and try to um, sew something similar that you might be sewing that you might have an issue with. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and thank you for so uh, so many views in the comments on my sewing videos. I was really amazed to see a lot of the uh, feedback and a lot of people that are really interested in these types of sewing machines. So I will continue putting out videos um, and continue leaving comments down below. Thank you guys and spend time with the family.